Okay, Miley has been given the secret club card to get into Club 33. <laughs> it was so, I can't even explain to you how exciting I was, how excited I was for that cake. Dad was laughing because I was dancing while I was eating it. You like my food the most? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is, what's the other thing you ordered? Or, uh, escargot. Escargot. Snails. Snails, how was it? You want me to kill people? I won't have to chop their heads off. Uh, right, Jack? I, I don't want to have to kill anybody. Good morning. It is an early Disneyland morning because we were at the party till late, late last night. A little bit of a oogie boogie bash hangover going on. But uh, so you might notice this morning we're on our way. We are on our way to Disneyland again, but we're all wearing, okay. Jack and Maddie are the exception. They're going to change later. We're all wearing a little bit fancier clothes today. We're not in our Disney garb because today for lunch, we actually have reservations at Club 33. So the kids have never been there. Anneli and I have only been there once, but it's kind of a very rare opportunity that we get to uh, go to a place like that. So we're all dressed nice and ready to go and super excited. We also, first thing this morning, we're on our way to go try. I think we're going to do double breakfast today. We're going to do... Um, the new French toast that are in the Red Rose Tavern, they're like stuffed French toast, so that's where we're headed right now. All right, so plans were switcherooned a little bit because California Adventure had zero lines and Disneyland had quite a bit of them. So we are now going to Flo's Cafe for breakfast to get French toast. Brioche French toast. Brioche French toast instead of the other French toast. We'll get the other French toast tomorrow. We're a French toast party over here. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna go get breakfast and I'll see you guys there. We got our French toasties. <laughs> <laughs> we got our French toast. This is Flo's banana brioche. Brioche French toast. So good. There's Miley and Hallie riding the also under Lambug ride. There she goes. Bye! There they are. There they are. They made it. Now they're on the roof. They also under that ride. to the haunted mansion here we go we got fast passes there's a big line oh did you hear the horse the horse made noise he's not even there he's invisible ah! not a creature was peaceful not even a mouse That's in our front yard. There's zero. Listen to me. Nine magic crystals that sparkle in a force that is pure. Bay. This is uh, one of Jack's favorite spots. Other than Star Wars, I know Star Wars is open. Running. He is running. <laughs> He's excited to be up here. That's where the last trick or treat Long time trail ago. was. Yeah, there used to be a trick or treat trail down here. He wants us to hurry. Whoa. That's a real life now. We can go there. Wow. wow. <laughs> Escaped the uh, Halloween party. There's Honest John. <laughs> okay, Miley has been given the secret club card to get into Club 33. <laughs> We're about to use it to get into the door. Magic key to get in the door. The 
magic key to get in the door. <laughs> oh, there it did it. Okay, we're in. Oh man. <laughs> so this is the Court of Angels and we've come in. This is where you wait to get taken up to Club 33. They have a tomb here for the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion right here in the courtyard of angels. And they got, <laughs> is it cool, Jack? They got Tinkerbell. And the fountain. Okay guys, this world is full of amazing people, all right? <laughs> and so, um, we actually were just able to go to Club 33. Um, which like I said, when we went, when me and Anneli got to go a little while ago, it was a dream come true. And this time we were able to take all of our kids in there. And so we took them in there, had an amazing meal. Um, it was so cool, <laughs> it's so cool, I love it. And now, so you kind of know how Annalie and I feel if you've seen the last time we went, because we just, we loved it. And this time it was kind of decorated for like the Haunted Mansion and stuff. So it was, what do you think, Mom? Awesome. It was so, it was, it was so good. But we got to take the kids, because when you can, you go, because it's just amazing. But the people that took us, they actually came with us this time and ate with us. So cool. So cool. They're awesome. We don't, we don't know what to, we don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> Just so thankful, so grateful, so humble. It was so good. So let's, the kids were just amazed too. We're gonna let them talk and tell you what they thought about it. But Club 33 is amazing. If you have the opportunity to go in there, go in there. If you meet amazing people that can do that for you and help you get in there, do it. It's, it's an incredible experience. All right, let's hear what the kids thought. First off, the food was so good, especially we had an Elvis cake. <laughs> and you guys know, I love Elvis. Like all things but the cake was like peanut butter and chocolate and it was so i can't even explain to you how exciting i was how excited i was for that cake dad was laughing because i was dancing while i was eating it and he was laughing at me and the people were so nice like i've never met people that genuine and so nice and it made me want to cry a little bit and they gave us ears and i think i just adopted some new grandparents <laughs> not new like added to added like to. i have like Five grandparents. Now. <laughs> okay. Oh, it was great. <laughs> okay, Hallie. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, I. Okay, they were incredibly nice because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be able to go to Pub 33. They were just. Huh. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Um, I think that probably Dad's pork. What was? Dad. Dad got pork, oh. and it was rare. My food? You like my food the most? <laughs> I got some sweet potatoes. I don't like sweet potatoes. I just want to make anybody feel bad, so I ate it anyway. <laughs> that was good. But you love mine, huh? What about the club? The club was awesome too. Inside yeah. was so cool. Gorgeous. Like all of the all of the work that they put into like make it all detailed and stuff. <laughs> so cool. Okay, Maddie. What was your favorite part? Um, my favorite part was the dessert that we got. Like the dessert? I got so Pretend this is like my plate. I got a Mickey cookie uh -huh. and then Mickey face. Oh, the train's coming. It's kind of loud. And blue ants. <laughs> and the chocolate like under his mouth, like above his mouth. Yeah. And then I had strawberry ice cream in a bowl, but the bowl was slanted. Like the bowl, when you were holding it, it didn't look slanted, but when you put it down, it was slanted. So good. It is so good and I got blue stuff all over, your all over my face. <laughs> Alright Jack, your favorite part? Um, probably... Oh yeah, check out Jack's hat. What? <laughs> um, 
my favorite part was probably when the waiter guy was like, there's two different types of grill. Like, it's like there's Barg's and then there's this super fancy one that's only here. I'm like, I'll have the fancy one. And it was the best root beer I've ever The root, best root beer you've ever had? Yeah. Okay, what is, what's the other thing you ordered? Or, uh, escargot. Escargot. Snails. Snails, how was it? Delicious. It was so good. Jack and I both got escargot, and I, I think it was my favorite part. Yeah. The root beer was good. The dessert was actually super good. But the escargot was really good. I really liked it. Yeah, it was. It was like garlicky delicious. Garlicky delicious. <laughs> oh, okay. Was there. My experience with Club Thirty Three was. I I just loved all of it. Just the company and my kids there and. Just the, the woodwork at the bar was amazing. It's just, it was just awesome. It was amazing. <laughs> Hallie's saying, don't cry, don't cry. Um, I won't cry, but yeah, it was just, um, it was just fun. I just loved it. The food was so good. So, so, so good. It was like really gentle. I had, I tried escargot. It was delicious. And it wasn't gross. I liked it. Tried that and no, then no, escargo is slugs. Snails. Snails. Same thing. They don't have <laughs> shells. I had a really good salad and I had oh smoked trout and it had with apples. With no and cucumbers. With cucumbers. And then on top Fishies. it had uh, caviar. So I've now had caviar and it was cool. You'd like bite into it and it would pop. Miley didn't like it very I much. Not, I thought it was cool. Like, like you'd be eating and you're like, oh, this is good. And then one of them would pop in your mouth and there's so much flavor. You're like, see, and I didn't get a bunch of flavor. It To me, it was the same as biting into one of the cucumbers. It was not the same. Not the same. Not the same. <laughs> I think it's because I, I have a cold. So like everything is all like heightened and like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think the, the highlight of this, this time was just the company because we were able to have were so nice. the kids and, and our friends there. So that was, that was I loved it. Thank you. We've continued our journey. We're now in Star Wars land. We're entering Star Wars land. Man, they did a good job. Man, it looks so good. It looks so good. So Jack says this used to be a planet like Endor, and that's what all the black spires are. Old like redwood, redwood like type trees. Cause they look like they look like petrified trees. They're like cracked and ball falling apart. But this is our second time only in here. We gotta. First time we were kind of rushed and had a bunch of reservations to go a bunch of places, so now we're gonna come and like get into the details and look at stuff and check it out. Hey, hair. California loves my hair, by the way. Dad might have done something. Maybe. Do I dare open it? What do I dare did, open it? What did you do, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> it's not evil, it's a happy one. <laughs> okay, will you hold my back? Yeah, of course. Why are you being gentle with my blade? on her phone Daddy. hacking the Millennium Falcon and making it make noises. Can we do it again? Yeah, go. All Is right. it gonna work? There it goes. <laughs> She's making it spit smoke and start up. <laughs> okay, we're in the first order area of Star Wars land and I am holding a lightsaber, so. And the stormtroopers are right there. I hope they don't. Something's happening. Jack, is something happening? What's happening? Oh no. Attention, citizens and travelers. If you can hear the sound of my voice, come closer. To all in this outpost, hear me. You are now under the watchful eye of the First Order. 
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> As you have seen for yourselves, we have brought stability and control to what was once a dysfunctional and disorderly place. No heroes. And yet, they want to regroup, to fight against us when they have no chance. We have reason to believe that a resistance spy was sent here to battle. To go down scouting for a place to hide. She cannot be operating alone. Someone is, is helping her. Is it you? Someone is hiding her. And someone knows where to find her. If we believe you know something, or that you're hiding something, we will find out. If you are stopped for questioning, we suggest you do as your order. Troopers! Excellent advice. Saber. I don't know how to be able to explain it. <laughs> they're gonna get us. Um, we need to go away. To make scores. No, they're <laughs> no. Look, he was right over there. What would I say if they said, Mom, "What is that weapon you, you have there?" I'd have to kill him. You want me to kill people? I won't have to chop their heads off. Uh, right, Jack? I, I don't want to have to kill anybody. Okay, we escaped the first order. I still have my lightsaber. And we have fast passes for the Matterhorn. Yeah. Yeah. Good day, citizens. Oh, good day. <laughs> the Millennium Falcon is here. He didn't find us. <laughs> he, he didn't find us. <laughs> he didn't see me. Miley was hiding my lightsaber. Because yeah. Miley was We didn't get back. We have a lightsaber, yeah. and That's I right. am a Jedi apprentice. That's right. Master Codebreaker. Okay, we're coming back to Star Wars land to watch the fireworks. Star Wars Land at night is pretty awesome. Ah, we're just chilling, kind of waiting for the fireworks to start. They'll just be shooting off up over there. There's Jack with my lightsaber. Oh yeah. And behind him is Star Wars Land. <laughs> turn it on, turn it on. Wait, that's the wrong movie. It's been turned off. <laughs> it's right. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Those fireworks are freaking awesome. So good. All right, guys. Signing out from Disneyland. See you tomorrow. Be good. Good night. We're on the monorail. We're inside. We're inside. We're inside. <laughs> what? We're on the monorail. I know we're on the monorail. I'm going to look outside and see all the people. <laughs> okay.